Are you ready? Ready to play some new cards. Abzan Greasefang. This is uh, where I want to start with the new set. Uh, also, everybody say hi, YouTube. We are playing Liliana of the Veil. I would like to play some newer cards, you know, like Aether Channeler, or some, some other cards that I want to try, but unfortunately we don't have access to those quite yet. But we do have access to Liliana of the Veil, and I think this card is a very powerful tool in the Grease Fang deck. Pretty standard stuff, there's not a ton uh, to talk about. Maybe the omission of Stitcher Supplier is something that's worth mentioning, uh, because you, you'll see that a lot in some of the lists, but you gotta make cuts for Liliana somewhere. I think this card plays very well, obviously gets Parhelions out of your hand, interacts with your opponent, is a win condition in and of itself, so I kind of like it quite a bit. I think it's going to be really powerful in this deck, and we shall see. Let's get started. Uh, I have no white mana, but I'm going to keep this. We have Liliana, so new card pog. I kind of like this, Fran. Abzan, Pog. Definitely have Liliana in their deck. Uh, what am I taking? Hmm. Unfortunately, they only have two discard spells. I still maybe should take one of the discard spells. But maybe I should probably... Eh, I should probably just take the Flare, right? I don't have a, like, a clean answer to it. This, is, this song is really good. I like this song. Yeah, how many Siege Riders do you think are on that but on stack? Yeah, we just need Tarmogoyf and, uh, and Pioneer now. We got Liliana, now just give us Tarmogoyf and we'll be fine. Three? I was gonna say four. I think you're lowballing. White Source. Let's go. I'll be discarding Overgrown Tomb. <laughs> Erborg Lurgoyf. Ooh. Ah. Uh... Oh, they're going to remorse my Liliana. That's kind of sad. This exiles it too, right? That's such a beat. I kind of want to keep the, the lands. All right, I'm going to discard this. Maybe that's bad, but remorse is so bad. I mean, the fact that it exiles is really, really annoying with this Tassiger, right? If this was just Thoughtseize and they take my Liliana, I could just slam Tassiger, but... You think Goyf is too good for Pioneer? Tarmogoyf or Urborg Lurgoyf? I, I don't know. Do you think Tarmogoyf is, is too good for Pioneer? Probably not, right? It's probably fine. I mean, it's, it's gotta be close. Like, the fact that you have Thoughtseize... I don't know. Yeah, there's no fetches, true. There is no fetches. That's a good point. Honestly, it probably would be fine. Okay, good-ish draw. Obviously can't do anything with it this turn, but... I think it is worth playing this turn. Wasn't even that great in Standard. Yeah, it was, like, basically unplayable for the longest time, you know? So they played Overgrown Tomb, Remorse. Would Ash Barons be too strong for Pioneer? No. They get a Charm by Grease Fang? Seems like they are. Yeah. I mean, they're at 14, and I'm going to play a Tassiger, so... That's actually not that bad of a draw, either. I know I'm giving up the can't stay away here, which is awkward, but I think it's still worth getting a Tassiker into play. Although now I'm just kind of fucked if they have Siege right now. Said no one ever. <laughs> Sad I'm dying. Yeah, the vape too strong. I do that sometimes where I like... Inhale. It's like when you drink a sip of water and it goes down the wrong tube. It's like you do the same thing with, uh, with vaping. Just you inhale it too much. <laughs> I'm fine, chat. Copium. It'll push. <clears throat> mm. It's very sussy, Pike. Very sussy. Do you put Phyrexian oil on that? No, I don't. Okay, they're not casting Liliana. That's good. I could never beat a Liliana here. Charming Prince. Scry 2? Scry 2. You got a three-turn clock. A three-turn yep clock. Mm. Oh, you know what it is? Everybody's probably saving up for September. September starts tomorrow. Also, tomorrow's my birthday. You guys ready for the birthday stream? Birthday stream's gonna be hype. We're gonna do donation decks and Twitch builds. The return of Twitch builds. No, we're not doing a 24-hour drunk stream. Uh, I think it's better to activate Tassiger than play Greasefang here. Although, maybe it's not because they have the second Remorse. So I could just play Greasefang... They're going to remorse the Parhelion, but then I could maybe mill two with the Tassiger next turn. I don't know. I mean, they are it's seven, so it's probably better to put the 4-3 into play, right? <clears throat> What's Twitch builds building the deck on stream? So the idea behind Twitch builds is for 
Oh, we're dead. For a $30 donation, maybe we'll make it 25 25 or 30 you get to choose the card that we build around, that we play three or four copies of. And then for $5 or one gifted sub, we get, you get to add any card of your choice to my deck. So that's the idea behind Twitch Builds. No, we're full for tomorrow for donation decks. Twitch chat coping about insert pet card. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, should I scoop now or should I scoop later is the question. <laughs> Mill with Tassiger. <clears throat> oh, I guess I could hit two vehicles. Obviously, if I hit a vehicle and anything else, they'll just give me the vehicle. But yeah, if I hit exactly two vehicles, I could... Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to mill main phase. Mm, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I should I should have milled main phase, because I'm going to mill anyways, right? <clears throat> just on the off chance that I hit two vehicles. Bro, they're going to Charming Prince their Siege Rhino? I can't, I can't handle that. Shamelessly giving back my deck I was trying to Q snipe with. Otter. Otter, this is this is main. You realize that, right? Grim Flayer. Delirium Pog. I can't wait to add Juniper Order Ranger to have a Zero Remedies deck. What is what is a Juniper or Juniper Order Ranger? I don't know what that card is. Come on, two Parhelions. Well, those are three pretty good cards. They're probably going to give me the Informant. They're giving me the Can't Stay Away. Uh, I guess that's fine. Now, either way, they give me a Wayfinder, right? <clears throat> Might Siege Rhino be the most beloved card in the game? It probably is, yeah. It's probably the card that generates the most amount of Copium. What generates more... What, like... What generates more Copium? Siege Rhino or Snapcaster Mage? <clears throat> well, okay. It's not... It wasn't beloved back in the day, but now people try to just jam it in decks that they shouldn't, you know? Alright, they gave me the Can't Stay Away. This gives me four looks at Parhelion. Parhelion is lethal. Uh, okay. Uh, I can flash it back next turn. And also play this. I guess I should activate main phase again for the same reason of trying to hit two vehicles. <clears throat> I have eight spells in my graveyard. I assume they give me the Liliana? I think Liliana might be the weakest card in my graveyard, but... Is Wildnikata Copium? Uh... Oh yeah, Thoughtseize, duh. Right. Is 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 Wildnikata Copium? Kind of. I think Bitter Blossom might be the most beloved Copium card. That's a good one, too. That's a good one. <clears throat> yeah, but that's one of those things where, like, back in the day, people hated fairies. Okay, so we're gonna go... Cast can't stay away from hand, because then I can activate Tassiger. The new set out. Uh, it's available in treasure chests. Ooh, Pog. Chat, they have been defeated. Our opponent has now lost the game. Pog champ. <clears throat> Liliana did all of the work that game. <laughs> yeah, we have we have drawn Exodia. Parhelion Obliterate. Alright, what do you want against Abzan Copium? Mm, I'm not, like, in love with extra discard spells. I think keeping the Thought Seizes are fine, but I don't think I want more discard spells. The Emperor seems good. No blank seems unnecessary. I don't think I need to do a whole ton here. I like safekeeping. I'm actually going to trim a Thought Seize. And I kind of like trimming Can't Stay Away in post-board games, because they're way more likely to have Graveyard Hate. I guess their deck probably wouldn't play Rest in Peace because they have uh, Grim Flare, so they're probably on something like... They're more likely to have Hearst than Rest in Peace. Yeah, you could consider Abrupt Decay because it's like answers their sideboard cards, but it's really bad against Siege Rhino. <laughs> it's good against Grim Flare, I guess, but... Could do like 3 Command 1 Decay maybe or something, just to have a split. Ebbs and Greasing is playing Liliana over something like Reggie, and the music player in me is happy, so it was just match up 7 out of 10 times. Yeah, that's true. I mean, in that matchup specifically, but, like, Liliana's so much better against Rakdos, you know? Liliana's just way better across the board. I agree. Liliana is pretty embarrassing against Phoenix, though. <coughs> it's embarrassing against basically any Treasure Cruise deck, right? Delirium is removed by Go Blank, stops Traverse. Uh, what are they traversing for that I really care about, though? 
<clears throat> like scavenging ooze or something. Also, the problem with Go Blank is it doesn't seem like their deck is that great at enabling Delirium. It's kind of just, they're more of a deck where they're like, okay, I'll just play Magic and I'll get Delirium eventually. But they're not playing cards like Seder Wayfinder and Grizzly Salvage. So they're not like a dedicated Delirium deck. That's kind of why I don't like Go Blank, if that makes sense. Uh, the Sand seems fine. If they have a discard spell, we have two, two good two drops. So they can't like discard us and try to mana screw us. So Hand seems fine. Don't stack abilities automatically. This is this is new. The rest of these look pretty similar, but this is definitely new. I wonder if it because it didn't it used to say stack abilities automatically. So I guess it's that's just I don't know. Maybe I'm just envisioning things. Uh, I'll play the black source first. Eh, I guess I'm more likely to want to keep this in my hand, or keep this in my hand. Excuse me. What about spots for next week? Uh, I, there might be one spot open, I think. Scavenging use. Liliana's good against that one. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to go Besaju Pass. Hold up Salvage. Hopefully they don't play a creature, and then I can just slam Liliana next turn. Yeah, I definitely did, right, Shark? Death right. Death right's definitely Copium. Well, especially in Pioneer. Like, Deathrite was busted in, in Modern, right? But, like, it's certainly Copium in this format. Also, is it me or does the text look smaller? That's definitely smaller, right? That There's no way it used to be that small. Please don't play creature. Thank you. Need a Black Source. No! That's the only land that doesn't cast Liliana. Oh, I'm still taking a land, I think. <laughs> So bad for me. Uh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. I guess I try to overload the graveyard. Wait, I find it first in case I hit a black fast land. This fly is pissing me off. Not smaller, I'm just getting older. True. Alright, black source acquired. Play Temple Garden for the turn. They get to eat a bunch of shit with ooze, which sucks, but... And hopefully Liliana the ooze next turn copium. They don't play have a siege rhinoceros. <clears throat> Surely we'll get to edict the scavenging ooze next turn, right? Yeah, mana base is kind of awkward sometimes. Because, like, you're kind of low on white sources, and you're maybe a little low on double black for Liliana, so maybe the mana needs to change a little bit. I appreciate that they're not eating Parhelion, unless they're eating Greasefang and Parhelion. But, like, I know they want to grow their ooze, but they probably should just be eating Parhelion. Auto match joining now too. Yeah, that's that's a good change. I like that change a lot. So the eight Parhelion. Sea Trino Omega Lull. I'll take this hit. Just don't play a creature, please. Please don't play a creature. <clears throat> Do you literally anything but play a creature this turn? Thank you. They actually they actually obliged. We get to cast the new card. This I mean, obviously they missed a land drop, but this feels like a blowout. Edict your ooze next turn plus maybe discard chariot. Have you know if I draw Grease Fang, like edict the ooze this turn next turn plus discard chariot play Grease Fang. That's disgusting. It's so good. <laughs> Is it crazy to make the Grease Fang deck more mid rangey? No, I don't think it's crazy at all. Cause like the worst card in the deck that you want to cut for Liliana, I think is Stitcher Supplier. So like it kind of makes sense. I can I can see that for sure. Can you hover over the new card first to read Never Seen It Before? You just want to look at the art, Booba. It really is a good card, huh? Stitcher's worse than Informant? I think so, yeah. The thing about, like, Stitcher's is, yes, it's a one-drop, but it's so bad in the post-board games. Like, people just show up with so much more graveyard hate, and it's a card that you're going to cut most of the time anyways. And, like, especially if you're trying to make your deck more mid-rangey with stuff like Liliana, Chariot, Tassiger, Bode, like, it's 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 the card that... Ele it, it, it's the card that gives you the most amount of nut draws, but it also is kind of embarrassing in the games where you're trying to play this type of game with, like, Liliana, Chariot, you know? Like, I might just beat my opponent with Liliana, Chariot, you know? So... <clears throat> 
they have also have a hard time with white over black. That's also true, but I think that I that's that could just be fixed by changing the mana base, you know? Like I think playing both of these Oh, they're gonna trophy my Liliana. That's That's tough scenes. That is tough scenes. I mean they kinda have to, but <laughs> Um So I can lead Wayfinder. This is kind of a risky if I don't hit an untapped land. But I was trying to think if I milled over a Grease Fang, I would have the Can't Stay Away, but... Did not mill over the Grease Fang. Uh, now we can go... Yeah, this is probably a little greedy, huh? Yeah... This is probably bad. So anyway, sorry. Yeah, I should just play the Chariot this turn. Would have been a lot better. Uh, I don't think I need this extra marsh. I think we'll be okay, though. Yeah, I tried to high roll the, uh, I tried to high roll the can't stay among Grease Fang there. But, like, I guess I have to hit exactly Grease Fang and a, and a vehicle, which is pretty unlikely in the top four cards. So that was probably just, that was probably just a bad play. Another copy of Scavenging Ooze. It's, like, actually kind of annoying, right? Ooh, you know what I could do? I can attack. If they block a 1-1, I can kill their ooze. Which is actually pretty good. To be double command. Well, if I double command, they just eat a creature, right? If I double command, they just eat the ooze and get, it's a 3-3. Three, three. So I can't double command. Um, I think I'm just not going to try... I'm going to try to avoid putting creatures in the graveyard. Yeah, they have a creature. I'm just going to play Chariot. Play this as maybe a green source and just chill. I'm just gonna chill. Your turn. Also, you know what else is kind of a beating? This protects Liliana from removal spells. If they go to, like, Trophy or Decay your Liliana, or Dreadbore specifically, imagine against Rakdos, so they go to Dreadbore your Liliana, and you just Tamiya safekeeping it. Like, that sounds disgusting. God. Sure, it's fine. That just sounds like a good time. Get Hard Cast Barhelion. I do have enough mana to Hard Cast Barhelion at this point. <laughs> Charming Prince, how will I beat that? They're gaining three when they're missing land drops? Probably not recommended. Is Tamiya saving a Johnny in the yard that hits that hits hard? Mm, didn't save a Johnny hard enough because now a Johnny's become a sleeper agent. All right, let's go re-combat Grease Fang so I can crew and just shove with everything. What's up, Crazy Visions? We got a deck tech from Resident and Madman. We'll take a look right after this match. Sure, it won't last much longer. Is it the Wanderer? Oh, okay. That makes sense. And there's a lot of sleeper cards in this set, huh? A Johnny and Evolve Sleeper. This is just the Resident Sleeper set. Surely they have to block this turn, right? Like, they're just going to take a million damage. All right. Proceed. I'm aware I might just have a, made a worse four color, but meh. At least you're trying, you know. You're not succumbing to the to the to the four color mindset. Okay, I will defeat your scavenging ooze. Mm-hmm. I accept. I will defeat your scavenging ooze. Post combat. Uh, minus three. You lose two life. Scavenging ooze. Actual cabbage. <laughs> Exile target vegetable. Alright, ability resolves. And I'll do it again. Your move. Your turn. If they play Siege Rhino, they go to 8, still dead. Dead, 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 dead. Very punny tonight, it's in the coffee. <laughs> Dude, that I still can't get over how funny that uh that Google Translate thing was earlier today. God, I had so much fun doing that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That probably won't be the last time we do that cuz that's that was good content. Oh no, Absan charm. How will I win? All right. We want a match. Do somebody already got a trophy? Leagues have been live for like 3 hours. All right, deck tech from Res. Well, you know what I mean. That sounds good, by the way. 
seen the RKF Force of Will that's in Domineer Remastered. No, I haven't seen it. Yeah, the that was so much fun. Whoa. That's Force of Will? Damn. That looks hot. Some GeoGuessr. I'm so bad at GeoGuessr, it's unreasonable. I am, like... I am probably the worst person in the entire world that you get GeoGuessr. Okay. Oh, this is Rakdos Creativity, huh? Kind of want to take Fable. Gotta be Fable, right? I think on Twitch, I'm usually here for gameplay. On YouTube, I'm more non-gameplay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, when you're watching live, you want to hear, like, you know, you want to hear, like, people's, like, what, what talking through the lines and all that stuff. I, I get that. That makes sense. We hit a Grease Fang and a Parhelion. That's pretty good. Now, the question is... So they played Den last turn. They have Awakening plus Creativity. I don't think they can realistically kill me next turn. Right? I don't think they can. They obviously could have drawn a removal spell for this Grease Fang, but... Doom TikTok? No, I'm not... This is... I'm never going to be... I'm never going to do TikTok. That's not the type of funny content that I, like, I mean, I, you know, some people enjoy that, but you know what I mean? Like, the stuff that we did in the beginning of the stream, that's the kind of the, the funny haha -ha content that I like. Like, that kind of stuff. So they're playing Creativity. Probably want Duress. Push bad. Decay, probably bad. Go blank, bad. There's not really much else, right? Maybe Safekeeping, because they have a shit ton of removal. <coughs> Boat's probably too slow. Tassiger's probably too slow. Trim, maybe a Witherbloom command. How good is Liliana against them? It's bad to push their creativity target. So they're creativity treasures. And also, well, like, Decay is a little bit reasonable because they're a combo deck and they're trying to set up creativity for two on two treasures specifically to hit World Spine Worm and Xenagos. So maybe Abrupt Decay is more defensible, but... It's like, if they just do it for three and you have one decay, then you still lose, you know? I think I'm going to shave a command. Because command doesn't doesn't kill Fable, and that's like their best non-creature permanent, so... You want to go full-time, then more variety, if don't, maybe what you enjoy. Well, I I mean, I enjoy a lot of... I enjoy what I did this morning. Again, like, I, it's not that I hate playing Magic. I just... I want to do different stuff. I want to provide... I want to do different content than just Magic gameplay. I feel like there's a lot of, like space that's unexplored within magic content creation, you know? Oh, actually, Emperor's dope, right? I'm dumb. Yeah, I should have brought an Emperor. You're right. How would I side against Monogreen? Um, i bring in probably Duress for Karn. I wouldn't bring in Push because I'd rather have Thoughtseize. Not a lot. You want to keep the boat in. Sand's good, right? Yes, the sand's good. <coughs> What happened to Locust God Sage? World Spine and Zenigo seems more awkward. Locust God Sage? Oh, I, I don't remember people trying that. Well, I remember people trying it, but I don't remember if, like, they really... Like, how far they went on that, down that path, you know what I mean? Push, push, go blank. Whoa! They have double swamp? Well, I'm taking go blank. <laughs> Form is better because you discard it to big score. Yeah, that's true too. That's a good point. Okay, well, if I hit a Parhelion, then we're chilling. Mod check Parhelion. No Parhelion, but. It's okay. <clears throat> Seer Step Pathway. Still don't have Revolt for Fatal Push, for what it's worth. I mean, I'm going to run out the Grease Fang because I don't really have a reason not to. And I can just kind of back that up with Chariots. It's kind of cool that Beseju sort of breaks up the combo a little bit. Like, if they're... If they're creativity and treasures, you can Beseju a treasure in response. The biggest reason is Lightning Axe. Those Lightning Axe... Oh, because Lightning Axe breaks up the, the Locust God stuff. Locust God's a 5-5, five five, right? Yeah, and the cool thing about playing World Spine Worm Xenagos is if you draw the World Spine Worm, you can just discard it to big score Unexpected Windfall, whereas you can't necessarily do that. You have to draw an Awakening or a Fire Prophecy. Fulgus 4-4, Sage 2-5. Okay. 
gotcha. Their deck is like it's not trivial for them to trigger Fatal Push. I mean, if they have a if they have a big score, they can. But hmm, do I salvage or do I chariot? Salvage is kind of high rolly, but I think I should just chariot here. Yeah, I should chariot 100 percent, right? I shouldn't get greedy. I mean, yeah, because they can't really kill me next turn, right? Like, worst case scenario, they go end of turn, big score, discard, push, and they draw Mountain Creativity, and then Creativity for one, but they have the Xenagos in their hand. So they just, they, they actually can't kill us next turn. Why is Lily Legal so early? You can play with the new cards, it's just they're really hard to get, so that it's because it's a reprint, then they're a lot easier to get than uh, than the other cards. I'm going to keep the Salvage, I think. So now we can go Salvage pre-combat. If we hit, then we can crew. Yada yada. Uh, did not hit... I guess I'll take a backup Grease Fang. I'm not going to play it this turn, obviously, but... So they're likely going to push the Cat Token. Do I do deck decks? We do. We do deck decks. Play this as a green source, I guess. Doesn't matter too much. Slam for five. They go to seven. Yeah, we have deck decks available for... Uh, we do them for... What do we usually do them for? Five bucks, I think. We usually do them for five bucks, or there's a channel point option as well. Take this, I guess. Doesn't really matter, because I can't do anything. Crewing is better if they have, like, Fiery Impulse or something, so... I think this is fine. So they go to two... <coughs> this go they have a Xenagos in their hand you gotta go have a good rest of the stream see you tomorrow take it easy JS thanks for stopping by buddy hope you have a good day okay so they can creativity a worm okay but these things can't block right and they have the Xenagos in hand so they 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 can't kill me right the best they can do is put a worm into play sure that's fine how's it going so far we're I think about to be 2-0 honorable Sudoku What's this? Deadly Dispute. Want to test a few new cards, Mantras doesn't have them. Yeah. Yeah, we opened a couple of cards from our chest, so for those of you just tuning in, I opened 500 chests earlier. Uh, <laughs> we did not open a lot of new cards. I opened two Aether Channelers, one Leyline Binding, one Elf Lord, and I think that's pretty much it. So there wasn't a lot of new cards we opened, so <laughs> I don't know. The drop rate seems kind of in the queue, Sandy is not good. I will take a mulligan. Eh, sand's risky. <coughs> Alright, is the average 5 better than this hand? Closer than you might think it is. I don't know. We're on the draw, so we get two shots at it. Because I don't need to hit on one, right? Stack mulligan so well. I, I kind of agree with you, too. Like, I feel like any any five-card hand with two lands and a Grizzly Salvage is probably better. Or, like, two lands, Salvage, or Wayfinder. So, like, we can probably afford to ship this. Maybe if this was my five, I would keep, but... See, I kind of feel priced into keeping this hand. I'm going to keep both Thoughts Eases, too. Obviously, hindsight, kind of wish I had the six, but... I guess the cool thing about this hand is at least this hand casts Thoughtseize, so. Oh shit. It's not what I would try to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to trade the one and only Aspiring Spike these Aether Channelers. Bug trade? Bug train? No. Voldaren Epicure. Sack of the Rakdos. When the sack is Rack. Fatal Push, Implement of Combustion, and Shrapnel Blast. So two answers to Grease Fang. I think I'm going to take the Shrapnel Blast. Why'd you decline it? Why you decline trade? Accept. Why you decline trade? <clears throat> 
why you decline trade spike? With the new lords, is elves, goblins, and perfect lists being playable in Pioneer, in my opinion? Elves, for sure. I, I actually think elves is dope. Thought you said it was bugged. No, because you didn't hit submit. <laughs> it's all your fault. Uh, I'm taking Shrapnel Blast, by the way. Also, new card, Pog. <laughs> You're good, buddy. You're good. You're good. Do you have the set already? Did you open any chests? I will select Fatal Push. Much prefer gameplay content to trade content. True. <laughs> I opened 400 chests to get the relevant cards. Oh, so you're in my boat. Well, I opened two Aether Channelers, one Leyline Binding, one Elf Lord. So that's that's the extent of playable cards in my 500 chests. All right, we got a, a deck tech for Yeti NSW. Where's the link? Can you post the link in chat, Yeti? If, if you could be so kind. Please and thank you. I'll take a look at it for the match. Thank you, thank you. Mana box. I don't think I've seen anybody use mana box before. Hmm. I drew a land, but I still can't cast any spells. Pog. They didn't play the blood grip, so. I mean, we might have one more turn. We got the Merfolk Lord? Nah. I'm all about the Elf Lord. I, I don't think Merfolk's going to be very good in Pioneer. Merfolk and Pioneer is a bit too much copium for me. Green Source, Pause, Champ. Yeah, it's much better in Modern than... The Pioneer just doesn't have the support for Merfolk. Yeah, I guess maybe I have one more draw step. This is a good, this, this is a good song. I like this song. That must be an easy card to get. I got two of them. Which one? The Merfolk Lord? One of the new sleeper thing. The sleeper card, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, oh yeah, I opened one of those. I did open a, an Evolved Sleeper, yes. I opened that a Johnny, too. I opened both of the resident sleeper cards. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, now we can't win. Now we can't win. Is a Johnny Sleeper Agent a playable magic card? In basically any format. I guess standard it might be good, but... Is that card playable in Pioneer or Modern? I assume no, right? Okay, Rakdos Sack. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really like a lot of these cards. They're not doing that much with their graveyard, so I don't think I like Go Blank Hearse. Honestly, kind of just want to ship Duress. And... Liliana seems not very good against them. I understand it's a discard outlet for me. I guess I could just cut the Tasker and keep a Liliana in. Let's do that. The Red Mythic Dragon any good? Because it looks like a medium rare from last year, to be honest. Are you talking about the Shivan Devastator? The X, the X in a red, XX haste, flying haste. Or is that your Sharn? I don't think I don't think you want to put your Sharn in the sideboard of this deck. Uh, no, this hand's bad. Well, I have Duress. It's just like, this deck has so many enablers that I don't really think you want to keep a hand like this. Just, you just have to have an enabler in your opening hand. Maybe that's stupid to mulligan that hand, but... Mm, unlucky. Uh, I mean, we're on the play. I I'm going to keep this hand. Obviously, if we miss, we miss, but I'm not going to four. I'm going to keep both enablers, I think. Yeah, very unlucky. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, if I take Anvil, their hand just doesn't function, right? I guess it's probably still better to take Push. Just take their interaction. Alright, okay. Uh, hold up Salvage, I think. Because it looks one card deeper. Deep, deep, deep. Leyline Binding for Niv. Pause Champ. New Niv support, let's go. Alright, well, if we hit, they die. Will we hit? <laughs> we kind of hit, sort of, not really. Uh, we'll take this. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Is the new set out? Kind of. The new set is available in treasure chests, but basically nowhere else. Maybe I shouldn't have even maybe I shouldn't have even played this. To be honest with you, this is probably a bad play. 
I probably should have just played Wayfinder. Because now, I mean, I guess they can kill the Grease Fang either way, if they have push, but... <clears throat> yeah, if they miss, they kind of have to dispute. <clears throat> you see the chat box here? It says, my opponent's Doom Wake creates a treasure token. After my opponent draws two cards with Doom Wake. You speak? <laughs> huh? They even staple card draw and treasure onto old cards? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> very, very sus, yeah. Extremely sus. Oh shit, well... Uh, combat. I mean, I'm gonna cast this fucking boat next turn, I'm just saying. You're at 10, I'm casting this boat next turn. Attack you for four. <laughs> Alright. Fatal push resolves. Go. May proceed. <laughs> I feel like they were supposed to take the boat since they had the push. Like, you just take the boat, push the Grease Fang, don't care what I Grease Fang into, or don't care what I Wayfinder into, but, like, how did they beat the boat now? I guess I don't have a creature to crew it, so it's fine. But. I cast a boat outside of Magic Contact sounds kind of sus, true. I guess that brings even more people to Pioneer. Probably, yeah. Dude, this set is such a fucking banger for Pioneer. I did my top 10 earlier today, which will be up on YouTube soon. Shortly, probably the next couple of days. And I had such a hard time narrowing it down to just 10 cards. I think there's so many, so many hits for Pioneer in this set. Yeah, people love their tribal shit. That stuff is less good in Pioneer because there's not nearly as much support for it. But there's a there's a, quite a few good cards in the set for Pioneer, I think. That doesn't beat a boat. All right, any way to crew my boat, please. All right, I guess I really only have Grease Fang. Cherry does it too. Cherry would be a sicko draw. Cherry, Grease Fang. Cherry, Grease Fang. Cherry, Grease Fang. Cherry, Grease Fang. Uh, should I hold that? Oh, wait, this is crew three. No, I should play that. <laughs> they could push with the trigger on the stack. I don't have push. That's good. That is good for me. Seems really good if your tribe is mono black aggro. Yeah, the black cards seem dope. Evolve Sleeper, Liliana, I think are both great cards for mono black. All right, are you going to lose to the boat that you didn't take with Thoughtseize two turns ago? Hmm. I f yeah, I don't know. Like, they had the push. They should have just taken the boat, pushed the Grease Fang, and then they don't care about me resolving the Wayfinder because I no longer have the Grease Fang in play. Like, they could have avoided this, you know? but they just decided not to take the boat and then lost to it, so. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. <clears throat> Fall asleep for black-white humans. Yeah, it is a human. The problem is, like, I feel like the human cards, I guess if you're specifically in just black-white, it's probably fine, but, like, there's so many good multicolored humans cards that I kind of want to dip into other colors. Obviously, that's not as doable if you're trying to play Evolve Sleeper, because that is kind of black-intensive, Correct me if I'm wrong, you can you can activate Sleeper off of Courtyard, but not Unclaimed Territory, is that correct? I think they're they're worded differently. I'm pretty sure Courtyard says activated abilities, but the um the old one doesn't. Yeah, Courtyard the new territory. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Territory is cast, and then Courtyard is cast or activate. Excited for the pseudo-prowess cards. Yeah, the prowess cards are nice, too. Both Balmore and the new 2-mana 1-2 Trample. I like those cards a lot. Pretty sure I'm supposed to just Grizzly Salvage. Balmore Bat Chest. Get your guardian new Benelli in place of Informant. Uh, I don't have access to that card. It could be good. That card's interesting for sure, but I just don't have that card yet. Ooh, just gonna tap out? Tap out, tap out, tap out. Parhelion, Parhelion. Oh wait, I don't have a white source. Uh, okay. White source, white source, white source. <laughs> Can I take the informant? Maybe I take the backup Grease Fang. 
White source, white source, white source. White source, white mana. White mana, pause champ. White mana. Mm, shit. That's bad. Just now they get to hold up the devil. I'm at 15. I think... I think I should probably thought to use Wayfinder this turn. Wayfinder first in case I hit Courtyard. That Lily should be a Decay. Oh yeah, I could have had a Decay instead of a Lily. Probably much worse on the draw too, right? What's up, Mike? I think the new Goblin Lord will be strong in this archetype. There's a White Source. I think I probably have to Thoughtseize here. It's not great, but... I'm at 15. Probably just take Dispute, right? Yes, I do think that the Goblin Lord will be good in uh, in Modern Goblins. I don't know if there's quite enough support for it in Pioneer, but there's like I have I did draft up a list like a, a, a Pioneer Goblins deck with obviously with the new card. It feels like it's it's really close. You know, it doesn't feel it feels like it's just missing maybe one small piece. But yeah, DMU is an MTGO in Treasure Chess, but I would not recommend spewing chess because we opened 500 chess, and I think I got like 10 DMU cards, <laughs> so. Probably, uh, it seems like the drop rate is not very good on those. Oh yeah, that's right. None of the commons and uncommons are at the chess either. <laughs> Feels bird, man. I was waiting for this deck tech. I'm waiting for the deck tech for Yeti. Good job discouraging gambling in this, in this family-friendly channel. Well, we were... <laughs> you missed it, Ziggy. We were we were doing uh, stream... We were doing stream gambas on me gambling on chess. <laughs> so it, got, it got pretty degenerate. I don't know a lot about the tribal archetypes, but you think that Goblin Tribal is more competitive than Merfolk Tribal? Yes, for sure. Goblins, I think, is a lot better than Merfolk in Modern. 100%. Never let your kids watch again. Feels bad, man. It's fine, I understand. Did they Domi or draw a card? They drew a card, right? So they play Devil, and I have to hope they don't draw a... Well, we're definitely dead to Oven. I also have to Shock here. There's no way I can afford to cast Thoughtseize, right? I go to three, but then I have two blockers. Surely I can't cast Thoughtseize here, right? No, there's no way. I think... Okay, what happens if I Thoughtseize... Their... Let's say they drew a spell, right? If I Thoughtseize their spell, and they and they draw a land, I'm not dead, right? Block the devil, block the devil, go to one. Maybe I am supposed to Thoughtseize, actually. Thoughtseize my Sky Sovereign. Mm, but then I have no blockers, right? They have Den. We don't know Den is their last card, right? This is not a Den. This is a Soken Zon. This is really tough. This is really tough. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Thoughts use my boat. Go to three. Grease Fang, back the boat, kill both devils. And then I'm at three versus two familiars. Maybe that's a better place to be, though. Because, like, if I do the other line, it's the same. Th it's, like, the exact same thing but I'm dead to, like, 90% of their deck, whereas if I'm at one versus two cats, I'm dead to way less cards. Does that sound right? It's almost the same outcome, right? I think that makes sense, actually. Yeah, I think that makes sense. It'd be nice if this wasn't a pain land, but... been a while better all right please brick please brick please brick er, they immediately went to their combat step which means they probably didn't brick we are dead i mean you know we were dead to most of their deck at that point right like <laughs> <laughs> just dead to so many cards. I think we played that game fine. Just very unfortunate that we like missed on land drop, had to like miss on the white source, had to shock. If I didn't miss on the white source, that's an easy win. But all right, deck deck for oh, we so bad. I hope it's five hundred Jess. All right, what do we got? This hand is not bad. Keep that. 
Yorian Rhinos Ozmi Os Os Favorite Cascade deck. Yeah, and I I can't wait to play I cannot wait to get my hands on four bindings. I'm gonna try both sixty card and eighty card versions. I have one Weatherlight in my list. I do have one copy of Weatherlight. Also, this is the worst possible matchup for Liliana. Kind of want to just discard it, to be honest with you. I guess discarding it's kind of bad if they play a two drop. Maybe that's bad. <clears throat> Some sort of early access event or is this modern? No, no, no. This is Pioneer. This is Pioneer. I mean, this, the, the new cards are available in chess. It's just really hard to acquire them. Ooh, that's not bad. We'll play a Grease Fang here. I don't really care if they kill it because I have a backup and then I can just slam Tasker next turn. Go up to 80 cards and play 5 color Yorion. Gives Arden playing good fit more archetypes in the deck box. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we're talking about is we're talking about like the Yorion Rhinos deck, which is obviously 80 cards. Let me see if I can pull up my Twitter. I had a list in mind. I'm going to lead on Wayfinder, because even if they kill Grease Fang, I can still play Tassiger. Temple Garden, I guess. Move to the combat step. Attack for seven. They just don't have a removal spell? They're ten. Uh, hmm. What am I keeping in the graveyard? Do I want to keep any of these cards? I could play the Dark Boar Pathway and keep Can't Stay Away. Could also keep Witherbloom Command. They're at 10. Hmm. I kind of want to keep the Witherbloom Command. I think I like that. All right. Where's my Rhino's list? Where is my Rhino's list? Here it is. So this is what I was thinking for Yorion Rhinos. Obviously, this is the new binding. But yeah, this is very... It's just like pretty straightforward, all four ofs. Not a, not a ton different like from what we used to play. But yeah, like the full 12 Cascade spells, Teferi, Omnath, Solitude, Fury. It's it's very similar. You just cut the flex spots and play Leyland Binding. There's not a ton of different stuff. And then I had an idea for 60 card four color rhinos. And this is basically just, again, Teamer with Binding. I think the Bone Crushers are probably bad and should just be like fourth Fury. And then maybe you go like cut a dead guy and play two Teferi, something like that. But. Um. Go to combat, I guess. Guess right, yeah. Bone Crusher's not very good. I don't know what they're what they're doing. What's going on over there? Okay, yeah. Uh huh. Go to two. Hmm. I guess I'll just play the Grease Fang, right? Maybe that's worse if they have like an Anger of the Gods. Could have just activated Tasker there. But, like, they can't really combo me with creativity because they only have one treasure. So. With we'll just Tassiger. I, it's nice to put another threat into play, another, another lethal threat into play. But it is, I guess, bad against exactly Anger. Because now they could go, like, Anger plus Shock Tassiger or something. Is too late here. Worth to deny info. Playing Temple instead. Oh, the turn we played Tassiger? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Cool, I'm still dead. <laughs> if they had a land to kill Tassiger, that would have been awkward, but... Okay, so is it creativity? Want duress, want safekeeping? We played the Rakdos version of this matchup, and I think it's probably the same. Uh, Watering Emperor is good, because they're trying to kill you with the, the worm, stupid worm. Yeah, I was thinking, like, if they had, like, Lightning Axe plus Fiery Impulse, then playing the Grease Fang is better, because they can Axe the Tassiger and then Impulse the the Informant, then I only have a 1-1 one -one with them at 2, so that was my thought process. But it, is, it was worse against Anchor, for sure. I think Boat's bad. Uh, I gotta cut three more cards. I don't think Witherbloom Command is that great. What if we cut the Lilianas? How good is Liliana against them? How's the league performing so far? I really haven't cast it that much, to be honest with you. I cast it like once or twice and it was okay, but not like too exciting or anything. Yeah, I kind of want to just cut all of them, and I don't think it's that good against them. Like, their deck is so good at churning through cards that Liliana, pl Liliana plus one just doesn't seem that impactful for the most part. Uh, this hand's great. Definitely keep this one. 
bad against is it draw cards. It's not as bad against this specific deck because this deck doesn't have treasure crews, but they probably have dig through time. So, okay. Well, I think I'm just taking their fable because <laughs> I can't. You know, their deck, their they have all removal spells. So this is the game where we just. Oh, that's a good draw. I was gonna say we just try to find. Um, honestly, now I kind of want to play Tass, or I want to play Grizzly Salvage. And then I can go Informant plus Tassiger next turn. Yeah, let's do that. So they played Spire Bluff, Steam Vents. Yes, the Salvage that is Grizzly. I will put... Uh, kind of want to put a land in my hand. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So I can Informant first... I guess there's no point in casting Informant first, because I'm going to leave Grease Fang Parhelion regardless. But I guess it maybe gives me more information. So we'll go Informant, discard Parhelion. Oh, that's a sicko draw for next turn. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's an absurd draw for next turn, especially if they, like... If they draw Fable and they only hold up one mana, or this, or this too, yeah, this is totally fine because now they're gonna hold up Volley, but I have Safekeeping, so I can go Can't Stay Away plus Safekeeping. So let's go White, Black, Cast Can't Stay Away, move to the Combat Step. Cause they could draw, they get to draw another removal spell, but. Yeah, that's fine. So the cool thing about this line is now they can't cast their big score. Because I'm like 90% sure their last card is big score. They only have one card in their hand. Like, we're kind of just chilling. Oh, they have dig through time. Okay, that's not great for me, but. But now if we draw a land, we can actually go Grease Fang. They kill it pre-combat that I can can't stay away before attack still. Alright, didn't draw a land, but... I have to cast this. It's probably not likely to work, but... Okay, they're going to big score in response. They have two cards. Oh, alright. What day? Or you just be the Giga Chad that shows up with no banned cards. This sounds good. Just the absolute Chad. Zero banned cards. <laughs> Living end. Zero banned cards e-tron. Yeah, they're not banned cards yet. Alright. Let's see if they tap out for Fable and lose the game. They're probably not going to tap out for Fable. It's kind of funny, we have Thoughtseize beat. If their interaction is only Thoughtseize, we have that beat. So, Unless they have double Thoughtseize, I guess. But Okay... Well, if they're Fatal Pushing my Informant, that means they probably have a second Fatal Push. What if I just Liliana'd them? How bad is that? Hmm. Kind of don't hate it. Kind of actually don't hate it. I just go down tick. Because, like, if I kill their pressure, they're kind of... They kind of maybe are obligated to do something. Because, like, if I have enough... If I have time, if I can keep the board clear... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Liliana's. I like that. I don't care if they stop it, because I have a second Liliana. Why is that bad for you running out this turn anyways? Oh, you're... No, no, I, th I think this is a good play. I think the Liliana's a good play. I just... I don't want to commit the Grease Fang this turn. I don't want to commit the Grease Fang until I get to turn 5, where I can play the Grease Fang, and then they kill it, then I can can't stay away it, you know what I mean? Just played you a bit of your creativity. Sorry for stamping the Dexter. <laughs> no, no worries, no worries, buddy. No worries, buddy. Oh, so they've decided to now tap out. Cool. <laughs> okay, well, I guess you're dead. <laughs> uh, uptick. I will discard... I guess a land? Uh, we can discard second Liliana. I don't think it matters. Uh, actually, keeping second Liliana is good. Kind of. Yeah, I don't know if it matters, but... They didn't have to stop. Yeah, they just had nothing. I mean, they maybe had Fatal Push, but just, like, thought that they wanted to play more pressure. I don't know. I feel like if you have push, you kind of have to hold up push there. 
But that's the thing that I was talking about, whereas, like, if they're forcing themselves to hold up interaction, they're not putting anything on the board, which is why Liliana was such a good play that turn, you know? Liliana looked sick that game. That was a really good spot for Liliana. What did I down tick for the Parhelion? I had a Parhelion in the graveyard. What do you think, what do you think Mono Black would be better with Dominaria because Liliana currents like $40? No, Evolved Sleeper. Evolved Resident Sleeper. That card is, is, is quite good in Mono Black. All right, I want the safekeeping. Uh, I guess I want Emperor. I don't really think I want much else, though. Liliana's good. Boat's good. I want to keep all the Wither Blooms because they have Unlicensed Terrace. I think this is maybe my worst card. Maybe keep one. Could play a Decay instead of the third copy. Which is probably fine against uh, Trespasser. What is red black cutting for Lily? I haven't I haven't thought about that yet. Uh, I'm gonna can't stay away. Games get a little more grindy post board. I'll play one of these. I think that's fine. We have the other option to just play Grease Fang then attack and discard Brahin on second phase. Maybe missing something. Oh, I see what you're saying. I mean, I had a second Liliana in hand, but yeah, I, I guess I see what you're saying. Maybe that's better. So I can like guarantee put the Liliana in the graveyard that turn. I don't know that it changes much, but maybe you're right. Because, like, plussing pre-combat gives them less information that I have the Grease Fang. They can kind of assume that I have it, but... You think you'd make a good model black tech without running Liliana? I wouldn't I wouldn't bother. Liliana is part of the reason why I think model black's going to be good. Ooh, nice hand. Okay, actually nice hand. I think I put back Can't Stay Away... Could also ship Decay. Decay is really good if they have um, Unlicensed Terrace. What if I put back a land? Got greedy. It's maybe a little too greedy, but let's do it. I like all my cards. This one. Go. <clears throat> Probably when they print fast lands without fetch is going to be tough. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Alright, Harvesters, whatever. Right. Proceed. Second time in Magic Accessory that a Planeswalker has been through Standard twice. Mm, really? Only the second time? Is this the only time they've reprinted a Planeswalker in Standard? Mm, I feel like that's not true, right? Because they reprinted all the original Lorwyn Planeswalkers. What about the Lorwyn Planeswalkers? Didn't they reprint all those? Trespass. Why, did, why are we not counting the Corset Walkers? Ooh, you know what's funny? <laughs> I could end of turn Decay, uh, discard Barhelion. If I rip Grease Fang, they lose. Let's do it. Because I want to cast the K anyways. Grease Fang. Grease Fang. Grease Fang. Grease Fang. Damn it. I think I go Lily Down Tick. If you decay the Trespasser, can you not discard a card? You can, but I wanted to discard the Parhelion. You, 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 yes. Because Decay can't be countered, you can not discard a card, but I wanted to. I wanted to discard the Barhelion. A little bit greedy, because now they have the Trespasser, and now I can't minus the Liliana, so this is kind of awkward. Need to find, like, a Chariot. Uh, okay, that could work. Because I have the Can't Stay Away, so if I hit a Grease Fang, I have to hit a Grease Fang and a, a thing. But maybe. No, not quite. So I think I should cast Can't Stay Away on the Informant. Maybe the Wayfinder was better. And discard Command gives me a blocker for the Trespasser. I guess I'm discarding both to the Liliana either way. So I'll just discard Command to this. Uptick, discard Temple Garden to Liliana. And then we can Chariot them next turn. What does an Eldrazi sideboard look for no bandless modern? Uh just 15 ley lines. <laughs> yeah, just 15 ley lines. <laughs> Unironically. Roxa would suck here. Okay, Dreadboar's fine. Maybe another removal spell. Okay. Hope their last card's not exactly Thoughtseize. I assume they killed Liliana, they do. Exiled can't stay away. Makes sense. They have one card left. Man, we've actually, like... 
We've done a really good job at grinding them out, you know? Kind of crazy. <laughs> kind of crazy how, like, we're in this position where I don't think we're necessarily behind on board. Maybe a little bit, but, like, we're keeping pace with them just because of Liliana. This card's so fucking good. Four mana. What are they doing for four mana? Oh, they messed up. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Hmm. Whoopsies. Before kind of great creator plus eleven for a wish board. Maybe yeah. Would Belcher just not be the best choice for nobody in the spot or a spirit guide seating song? Seems easy. You get Red Flame too. Belcher's probably pretty good. Uh hmm. If I attack with Chariot, do they have to double block? I mean they don't have to. But I'm like I think I'm okay with trading Chariot for a trespasser, and I get a token too. I think I'm gonna do that. It hypothetically might be better to play Grease Fang pre combat crew so that I can have three cats back to block. But I kind of want them to not know that I have the Grease Fang. Which is why I'm doing it this way. Yeah, I think I'm just okay with this trade. Especially because I drew the Grease Fang, so if they don't draw an answer, then we can just get it back next turn. You know what I mean? Right, exactly, yeah. Like, if I play the Grease Fang pre-combat and crew with the Grease Fang, they're just 100% not going to block. You know what I mean? So, like, not giving them the option seems a lot better. And if they drew another Trespasser, we can rip Liliana or Thoughtseize to go just discard Parhelion. The hell is five mana? Oh, that's bad. <sighs> that's really bad. <laughs> Shit, that's a good draw step. Well... Not good. Not looking good. Uh, you may proceed. Should have probably saved the Grease. Oh, just oh, because they traded, not play the Grease Fang? Oh, I see what you're saying. Just hold the Grease. Yeah. They also drew Trespasser. Those are, that was your back-to-back. -back. Oh, my God. Yeah, we could have passed. I mean, it's worse if they draw Thoughtseize, I guess, but... Why don't we attack? They just block with a boat. Why would I attack? Yeah, I was probably supposed to pass last turn. Now I can't win. There's no point in casting safekeeping here. Don't think we can win now. I don't know if I would have... I Even if I had held the Grease Fang, I probably still wouldn't have won because their draw steps were just like stone-cold perfects, but... I can't, oh, I can't target their, oh, dude, imagine, imagine if I could safekeeping target their, their fucking trespasser. God, that would have been so sweet. I have any way out of this game? Uh, I mean, I guess I can play Grease Fang, safekeeping when they crew the boat, hope to rip Liliana. How did the opponent get a boat? They just hard cast it. They're just playing boat in their deck. Which is an interesting choice. For sure. Definitely an interesting choice. I personally don't like it that much, but not a big fan. Uses a mirror breaker. The thing is, you just never have creatures in play in the mirror. The mirror is all about planeswalkers. This thing is not good if your board is all planeswalkers. You know? I'm not convinced. Because you just can't crew it, you know? All your shit dies. Why would they crew it the hive and not the harvester? Okay. I guess this kind of accomplishes the same thing. Boat's good against walkers. Not if you have no creatures in play. It's not that good against walkers. Alright, Liliana or Thoughtseize, please. Liliana or Thoughtseize, please. I probably win the game if I draw Liliana or Thoughtseize. Uh, okay. Could potentially mill something. What are the modes that I'm choosing? Oh no, I can target. Oh no, I can't target this. Yes, I can. I can minus three, minus one. Okay, so let's go. So minus three, minus one is one of the modes. What's the other mode? Probably drain, right? Or do I want to mill to try and find a can't stay away? I might want to mill to try and find can't stay away. I guess I, yeah, because then I can get a land back, play it, and then have five for can't stay away next turn. Hmm. I kind of feel like land's more important. Did I cut the boat or no? Did I cut the boat? I don't know if I cut the boat, because that's another 5-drop. 
I have Boat in my deck. I guess Boat's not that great on this board, but... Try and Drain to be safe. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Let's just Drain, then. It's probably safer, right? Minus three, you lose two life. Is this a two-turn clock? It is, right? Yeah, I'm trying to think of a world where, like, they lethal me. They can't really lethal me with two 4-4 four, four blockers, right? Yeah, they can't really lethal me. Because they have no cards. Even if they draw a Fatal Push, they can go, like, Fatal Push, Crew the Hive, or Fire Up the Hive, Crew the Boat, Attack with both, Kill a Blocker, but then I just go Block here, Take 6, Go to 2. That was enough, That's a good reason to, dr to Drain if they draw Push. Yeah. You opened a bunch of chests, right? Did I hit any Maddening Hexes? I have one copy of Maddening Hex. I don't know what it's worth, so I haven't sold it yet, but... I did open one Maddening Hex. I opened zero Minsk. The Drain from the Glutton's a big deal, too. Oh, right. So we actually lose the push then, right? Because they go push, fire, crew, attack with both, kill cat, put me to six. I guess I could chump block the boat and go to two. So I guess I wouldn't die. But I opened 500. <laughs> I opened 500 chests. They're at four. Uh, so they're dead on board. Actually dead on board. Mm -mm. It's probably going to be a little bit more than 10, yeah. I will attack. All right, that was a sweet that was a sweet league. That was a really really sweet league. We got the 4-1. We get to open more chests too. As if we didn't open enough chests today. Uh, let's pull up the deck list for the YouTube viewers. So, Liliana uh, really, really felt good. That was a really good showing for Liliana. We didn't cast it too, too many times, but the times that we did cast it, we were able to like get some value out of it by minusing, and then it stayed in play, and it just allows you to play more of this kind of mid-range game, which is something you really want to be able to do when your other primary game plan is getting hated out with like graveyard hate and removal spell, stuff like that. So it kind of plays really nicely into the mid-range game plan with Chariot, with Tasker, with Boat, so I really, th this was a, a really good showing, really good showing for this list. Um, maybe it would make a couple of small changes, but this uh, felt like a really good starting point. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the, smash the thumbs up button. I'm <laughs> sorry.